Good morning, my name's Tim DeWire and uh, I'm the original manufacturer and designer of the H2 fuel safe system that we're about to show you here. It started about 10 or 11 years ago in earnest when the fuel prices went up and um, transport industry was hurting badly with fuel prices so we designed this system to assist them. Since then we've fitted, uh, fitted our systems onto I don't know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different vehicles road trains, triple road trains, four-wheel drives. Uh, Mike's unit here is one of the latest ones we fitted. We fitted them in Europe, where they're in Spain, they've been up and down to Russia, across to Norway, through Italy. Um, we then fitted them in Thailand and Asia. And it doesn't matter where we go with our systems, uh, the results are they're identical. It works and it doesn't fall apart and it doesn't stop work. With the emission controls that are out there today, regardless of the whether you're a Euro 3, Euro 4, Euro 5 or even the Euro 6 standard engines, our systems can still be of a benefit to you in reducing the emissions even further and of course reducing your fuel costs. And, and at the end of the day, for you in business, putting bottom line dollars in your pocket has to be a benefit. Today, just want to give you a quick overview of what we've done with Mike's Toyota four-wheel drive here. And I think you'll see the simplicity, the ruggedness, and the fact that the emissions you'll see, we're going to do an exhaust test as well. Uh, fairly rudimentary test, albeit, but you'll see the difference. All right, here we are at the back of uh, Mike Stevenson's 2003 Toyota. And we've got the hydrogen unit fitted as you've seen in the toolbox before. We've got a piece of white paper towel here. And I'm going to ask Mike to give this thing a bit of a boot pull and let's see what sort of uh, exhaust we get coming out of here. Normally we get a bit of soot, but let's have a look. There it is. White as snow white as the absolute driven snow. Okay, what we're looking at here now is firstly the electrical side of things. Um, we've got an inline fuse here. Uh, we draw the power from the battery direct back to the uh, relay switch that switches the hydrogen unit on when the truck's running and switches it off when the engine's not running. Now, from the gas point of view, the intake from the hydrogen comes in here into the airflow just prior to the turbo. So it's on the low pressure side of the engine, on the low pressure side of the turbo. And hydrogen is such a light gas, it mixes completely with the air as it comes in. And so therefore, every piston, every cylinder gets exactly the right amount of hydrogen. And in doing that, we know that A, we're gonna burn about 97% of all the hydrocarbon fuel in there. And so a lot of the emissions are taken care of in the combustion chamber. Secondly, in doing that, we know we're reducing the fuel consumption. Mike's got the figures on that. But we reduce fuel consumption, but we increase torque. So torque's up about 15, maybe 20%. And at the same time, which is really unique, is we're able to reduce exhaust temperature by about 50 degrees. Now, in doing this, what we've got is a pretty unique system where we have very little heat in the system out the back so we're not pumping steam into your motor um, the hydrogen comes in clean it's it's there's no steam coming with it because there's no temperature back there in the system and as far as i know we're about the only people on the planet that have been able to produce hydrogen through electrolysis quite cool feed it into the intake get all these results and these these systems that we build uh, they're designed to last five million kilometers without fail that's not bad what we've got here now is one of our electronic boxes and i'm about to take the back off it so as you can get a look at the magic what we've done that uh, is quite unique is we've got this set up to take 12 24 or 36 volts and it self reads and the way it works is that we can take that voltage manipulate it and break it down to less than 10 volts then what we do through this little trim pot we can then adjust the, the uh, amperage 
right through to 35, 38 amps per box. And so what we're then doing is pulling very little power off the vehicle and putting a lot of energy into the systems that, as, as they require it. What we've worked out is there's a certain amount of hydrogen required per litre of fuel to give the optimum burn. More is not necessarily better. And so through some extreme fittings of MOSFETs um, with the controls that we have in here, our amperage doesn't get run away. We control that amperage to 0.2 plus or minus and that's where it sits. That's control and this is what we've been able to do that very few other people have ever been able to do and I think it was um, Giardini at the Jet Propulsion Lab at Caltech University in 1974 uh, figured out how to do it and I think we're the second people and um, it's been a long, long road. It's been a 10 year road and uh, but we've done it. Our systems are designed and manufactured here in South Australia and they're designed out of the highest quality materials available on the planet. Um, we've done millions of kilometres. I think we've somewhere over 80 million kilometres on highway. Not one system's fallen apart. A vibration test was done on the Udnadatta track here for six months. Not one failure. So all up, no matter where we go, our systems work. People are happy. They're saving money. And we're keeping the environment clean because I've got kids and I've got grandkids and I, I would just love a nice, clean earth for them to grow.